Good morning. It is Thursday, August 10th, 2023 in my locale, 6.42 a.m. here. It is 86 degrees, uh, going up to about 93. So as you can see, I got out of the shower and we're getting ready to feed the kids. Uh, let's see. Yesterday was work. Uh, worked with Captain Ann. Uh, it was nice. We're still having a problem with the motors. She's complaining. It's it's just a big problem. And unfortunately, it's not getting fixed. I know how to fix it. If I was the assistant marina manager, the problem would be solved by now. It would just be solved. However, when you go golf, it means that you have to take all of your skills and all of your experience and you have to put it in a box and you have to go. You can't have it. So everybody's going to suffer and everybody's going to get frustrated because the skilled people, the men of the mind, just simply went, I'm on strike. So there you have it. Uh, last night was a very easy dinner. We had some fun with Jack and then um, cleaned up the stuff and went to bed about 8.45. Uh, then uh, about 3.30, yet again, the magical hour, uh, 3.30, I woke up. I mean, I got up like 10, 11 o'clock, like case go potty then. Woke up. And I felt like there was a weight on my chest. And I went, oh no, not again. The last time that happened was about two years ago or so. And, you know, I thought I was having a heart attack in the middle of the night. Hint. For the last 40 years, they have cleared my cardiovascular system and circulatory system that it is very, very good and pretty darn good. And the last time I had the medical uh, 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 suicide squad uh, checking me out, that was cardiologists, and that's what they said. So how do you wake up in the middle of the night with chest pain, think you're going to have a heart attack? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, it was Bodhi standing on my chest. Just... Standing with his two feet, his other two feet off to my hip, staring at the wall with his head gone. I went, all right, he's a security chief. You tell me what's up. Cuban tree frog. Don't know how it got in. So at quarter to four, I grabbed him, threw him outside and said, out you go. And after that, said, I can't go back to bed. So let everybody out, got started. Everybody's still kind of half napping right now. And here we are. So, let's see. Um, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I will probably have that in a little bit. They're getting ready to have it after this. So, I've been up for a bit doing some studying. Oh, yay. And been, you know, just trying to catch up on a few things uh, business-wise. You know, emails, things like that. So, it was a good break. It gave me an extra hour or so of time to start, you know, just start pulling things together. And I'm still wearing my favorite t-shirt. So, you know, you can't you can't lose on that one. So, let's go. And I'll flip over and see what our daily Zen poem says. Might take a minute to load. All right. Uh, almost. Almost. So... Well, we'll go backwards then. While this is reloading, we'll do our daily rune pull. Hello, Kaya. Nice to see you. That is Rado. That's the rune of movement, but that is inverted, so it's movement that appears to block. So let's see what we can do with We probably pulled this one. I think we pulled this one already. Movement that appears to block. Be certain what you are doing or not doing is timely. We have to simply recognize that not all opportunities are appropriate. Not all possibilities are open to us. The opportunity at hand might be precisely to avoid action. Sounds like me working with the boat motors, huh? If you're feeling at a loss, which I'm not, unclear about the need to act, which I'm not, consider what is timely to your nature and remember what is yours will come to you. That last part is very, very hopeful to me. Uh, given what everybody understands about my current state. 
And let's see, we have a poem. Silently and serenely, one forgets all words. Clearly and vividly, that appears before you. When one realizes it, it is vast and without edges. In essence, one is clearly aware. Singularly reflecting this bright awareness, full of wonder, is this pure reflection. Hong Chi, 1091-1157. All right, let's see. Uh, once you start trying to label stuff, the universe expands. Okay, because you see it as it stands, and you don't have to describe it. You don't have to label it. You don't have to anything it. Hey, man, I'm a trained biologist. What do we do? We label everything. We put a name on everything. Once you get the idea of stop trying to name it, and we get to the point of looking at what it is and just having that motion and experience, you your universe expands. The rune tells us the same type of thing backwards. It says, remember, even though you're experiencing universe, not everything is ready yet. So don't force it, don't push it, don't rush it. Sometimes you just got to wait. If what's supposed to be yours is going to come to you. That's very hopeful to me. One of my top secret projects is waiting for the thing to come to me. More on that when it is completed. Our little book. Thus the highest realization of warfare is to attack the enemy's plans. Next is to attack their alliances. Next, it was to attack their army, and the lowest is to attack their fortified cities. This tactic of attacking fortified cities is adopted only when unavoidable. Thus, one who excels at employing the military subjugates other people's armies without engaging in battle, captures other people's fortified cities without attacking them, and destroys other people's states without prolonged fighting. He must fight under heaven with the paramount aim of preservation. Thus, his weapons will not become dull, and his gains can be preserved. This is the strategy for planning offenses. That, again, is very doubt. That is... Going after the people is a bad idea. Going after their plans, well, that's a whole different story, because then you can really solve uh, problems as they happen for not sure what I make about that for how it will help me today. How it will help you? I don't know. I just know that whatever they want, whoever that magical they is, whoever, whatever they want, if it's not in accord to what I want, you can't have it. I gave of myself too much, too long, too far, too many pieces, and too much of this and this. Now, if it doesn't work for me, it don't work. You can't have it. You get no. You get nothing. Because, again, part of going gall means you walk away from all of that. Somebody goes, I need. And your first question should not be, I'll be right there. Hang on. It should be this. How will this serve me? How will this help me? My goals. My plans. The things that I wish to do. If I go over and help you, how will this help me first? And I know that that sounds selfish. However, that's the concept of what's called rational selfishness. Uh, Anne Rand coded that. If it does not assist me in my growth, development, understanding, intelligence, training, anything else, then I should not be moving forward to do it because it does not have a value save to those who wish to exploit my value. Many of you are looking at me like, huh? Just think about it. You don't have to walk away with, with an answer right now. Just go think about that today. The next time somebody goes, I need your help. I'm not saying, what's in it for me? What I'm saying is, how will helping you achieve my personal goals, my needs and wants, my whatever. It's not a, a selfish, what's in it for me? No. Helping you had better achieve my points because my stuff, 
my plans, my ideas, my growth, my personal development, it has to come first because if I don't help me, who will? Right, Mom? Also, today, before I bring up the kids, today would have been my grandmother's 95th birthday. And yes, I did have a grandparent, and she was very, very good to me. Uh, sadly, she died in 91, 92, very long ago. And so, yeah, Nana helped learn teach me how to cook, and I learned a little bit of canning from her, and I learned a little bit of gardening from her. I learned a lot from my Nana. So, I really appreciate her. All right, let's see if we can get the kids. Come here, kid. Gator. Come right here, please. I just woke him up, so he may be a little grumpy. Your obligatory case of you. You getting ready for breakfast? There you go, Bodie. Come on. Come here. Hang on. I gotta go back. Come here, buddy. Buddy boy. Oh, you're heavy. We gotta struggle. Oh, I know. Oh, God. And now your quiet moment of Bodie. Our security officer saving us from a rampant invasive tree frog. Come here. No, 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 no. Take it easy. Oh, there we go. Let's get that out of the water bowl. We're going to try. Swivel this around. And that is Miss Kaya, who will be here. You know, I don't know. I don't know when they're coming back. Uh, they didn't give me that information. What I got is a week or so, but they had to drive from Florida all the way to New Milford, Pennsylvania, then drive back down to Baltimore to get on a boat, to get on a boat to go to the Bahamas and some other island place i don't know not jamaica but uh bahamas bimini i don't know and then they got to take the boat all the way back to baltimore and i don't know if they're going to go up to new milford and then back down to florida or go from baltimore directly to florida i don't know they didn't tell me that so she'll be here until she's not here also on the list uh one of the people i work with has an irish wolfhound and they are going to go home in september and they want to know if I can watch their dog for a couple of days. I don't know if Indy has a crate or not, but I said I can bring her in. I shouldn't say I can't bring her in here, but if she can manage to be in here on a blanket and Bodie's going to be cool with it, hey, man, I'm good. Not sure. We're going to find out, though. So we're going to do our very best because I've always wanted an Irish wolfhound. And when I did show one to Miss Carrie, she did the absolutely not because it's basically a horse and a, a very furry horse. But our messages today talk about uh, experiencing life without labels, without trying to identify it. Just get into the experience. Remember that Arun tells us not everything you want to do is the, is the right time. So make sure that you look at your vantage point of timing. And remember what's supposed to happen. We'll come back to you. And our little book says the best way to win is to attack their plans. Don't go after the people. Tech, don't go after the people. Go after their plans. Go after their ideas. Go after everything else. We need to succeed. And the most important thing to succeeding is ripping down their idea. Because they have created a construct of reality. The poem tells us about how to experience real reality. And just give it time. So patience is going to be a virtue here. All right, so from the kids as I get ready to feed them, let's do it the right way, especially my favorite t-shirt.
if you don't help yourself, nobody will. Thank you, Mom. Are they like-minded? Do they share our values? Do they have something to offer? No or um. Hit it, chum. It's too late. This is the way you wanted it. Now you got it. And you're going to get it all the way through. Remember that the way to defeat these lunatics is go after their ideas. So the next time somebody brings you nonsense to the table, you know what to do. Just kind of smile a little bit. Put your hand up in the air like this. Turn around and walk away. When you turn around and walk away, they're talking to nobody anymore. Now they're talking to the air. And they're not getting the attention they crave. So you've won twice. You've reclaimed your your personal time. Thank you. You've reclaimed your personal time so you can go do more important things for you. And you have shut down what they want. They want attention. They are dopamine fiends and you want to shut that down. We live with two generations of people now that think their emotions make them morally superior and they don't have any self-control. So the best way that you can install self-control in them is you can't. You can install your own self-control and just simply go, I'm not going to listen to this. This is silly. Thank you. Work on your plans. Remember to, the timely action is important. Realize that when you have to go fight, where to start the fight. And remember that not everything describes words. Experience the universe as it stands, not always as you want to identify it to be. Now, harder for me as a trained scientist, but maybe easier for others. So I wish them, you know, a, a sunnier day. So from Queso, Bodhi, Kaya, and the old hermit. I want you to have a great Thursday because I'm going to go to work and it looks a little cloudy and I, of course, you know, the fear mongering of my weather uh, app. Heat advisory has been extended. Oh my God, we're going to die. Yeah, it's called summer in Florida. Attack their ideas. You don't want summer in Florida? Hmm. You haven't left your air conditioned house. You don't work outside. Matter of fact, you may not even work. What are you complaining about? And of course, that'll send them in the fits. So again, I'm going to get up. I'm going to feed the kids. Have a great Thursday. And uh, again, happy birthday, Nana at 95. Bye.